the secret to acquiring wisdom. When you hear this word, this word that we throw around sometimes, wisdom, being wise, what does it mean to you to be wise? What does it mean to you to have wisdom? Comment below, let us know. What is your definition? Everyone has a different one, I think. What is your definition of wisdom? What does it mean to you to be wise? Let us know your definition. I would love to know and to learn your meaning behind this word, your definition of wisdom. You know, to be wise, to be able to think, to be able to observe. You know, I remember Bruce Lee talked about that. The most dangerous person is the one who thinks, listens, and observes. But what do you think, my friend? Where does wisdom sit with you in your life? Have you known someone that you thought was wise? Someone who was able to teach you something that you didn't know before? Oh, I like that. Victoria says wisdom is the active embodiment of knowledge. Ooh, embodiment. How can you embody? Put that knowledge in your body. Hey. Well, we're going to get into it today. We are definitely going to get into what this means and what this has meant for me in my life in continuously acquiring wisdom and how you can, how you can do it as well. You see, we all have different definitions, but this has definitely helped me in my life to understand that sometimes not engaging can be wisdom, you know? Not what you do, but what you don't do, right? Sometimes these things can be very backwards in life. We think, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. Oh, I need to do this. And we may be right. Wisdom says, I'm not going to do that. The power of saying no. The word no can actually be very powerful. Yes can open doors, but no, <laughs> no can save you a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of psychic energy, a lot of mental resources, a lot of time wasted, the power of no. So not engaging, what you don't do, that can actually be wisdom. You know, they say, what is the best way to win an argument? <laughs> to not have one. What is the best way to win a fight? To not be there. You know, arguing with a fool only proves that there are two, right? Just don't do it. The power of non-engagement. The power to say no. The power to step back. Use your faculties of wisdom. They say knowledge is knowing what to say and wisdom is knowing whether or not to say it. <laughs> knowledge says, oh, I could say this. I could say that. Wisdom sits back, observes, and understands, actually, I don't need to say anything right now. Actually, I can just be silent. I can just rest in this and just pay attention. Just observe. Be quiet. Mum's the word. Right? Zipping it up. <laughs> How can using your faculties of wisdom get you farther? Whereas many of us, we pick up on so much knowledge. Where can you find wisdom fitting in your life? So my friend, with the power of wisdom, once you realize the power of your tongue, you won't just say anything. No, no, no. When you realize the power of your thoughts, you won't just entertain anything. That's wisdom. And once you realize the power of your presence, you won't just be anywhere. Right? Because you realize 
that certain places, certain people, certain things, certain words, certain thoughts, it serves you not to engage in those things. And when you realize that you don't have to, that's wisdom. So how has wisdom served you in your life? You know, I love this. They say, a wise person knows that there is something to be learned from everyone. People can teach you two things, what to do, what not to do. You can learn by viewing, learn by observing, and learn through wisdom. There's also three ways that they say that one can acquire wisdom. Imitation, reflection, and experience. But they say experience is by far the harshest teacher because it's the only one that gives you the lesson after it gives you the test. You show up, wisdom says, hey, pop quiz. You've been studying. Ah, oh, you've, been, you've been studying, you ready? It's time for the test. And then it gives you the lesson. That's wisdom. Another thing is not thinking of yourself as wise, always remaining humble. This is important when it comes to acquiring wisdom because a fool thinks themselves to be wise, but a wise man knows himself to be a fool. The wisest man knows that they know nothing. Thus, it makes them wise. Just like you can't call yourself humble, you can't really call yourself wise, can you? Let other people do that, right? You focus on being a student. You focus on learning from others. You focus on learning from yourself. The master is the master because they're always a student. They've never left the classroom. They've never left the university of life. Thus, they are always learning. Have you ever known somebody to know everything? Oh, I already know that. Oh man, you ain't gotta tell me that. I already know that. Man, come on, man, I already know that. Yo, tell me something I don't know, right? What can you tell them? They know everything, right? Therefore, they have nothing more to learn. The person whose cup is already full, what more knowledge can go in? What more wisdom can begin? So I love this, Jimi, Jimi Hendrix. Knowledge speaks and wisdom Right? Come again, you wanna run that back? Rewind! Knowledge speaks, but wisdom. And when you do more of that in your life, more listening, you find you can learn all you need just by closing this and opening these. We have two ears and one mouth for a reason. And I believe that we find that reason when we operate in listening. And finally, that timeless wisdom. A wise man once said, We're just gonna let that marinate. So thank you so much for being my friend. This has been a short message on how to acquire wisdom in your life. I trust that you received a nugget or two. Thank you so much for being. Thank you for breathing. Thank you for sharing the breath. 
Oh, I love it. Haruka says, wisdom is to be able to feel and hear the soul. Hey, I love it. Yeah, being able to sit, you know. They say all of humanity's problems stem from our inability to sit quietly in a room alone. We are afraid often to hear and feel the soul. And you not only can feel and hear the soul, Haruka, you can paint it. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? You must have acquired wisdom. Hey, Freddie, what's going on, my brother? Hey, congrats to you on your, your comedy set, man. Awesome. Infinite Ballot said, I know nothing. Hey, Victoria putting them diamonds. He dropping gems on us. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> he said, that's Ric Flair deep. Freddie said, Ric Flair. Awesome. Hey, much love, much gratitude, Kim. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Mr. Adam Lands, what's going on? Most people listen to respond instead of listen to listen, said Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. You already know it. Adam, much love. You know, I still remember the time when um, <laughs> I was like, we were walking to a, a set and I said, today is going to be a great day. And Adam said, today's already a great day. How about that? <laughs> Much love, Adam. Hey, Victoria, thank you. I'm glad that you received the message. Danielle, thank you for coming through. Yeah, that's right, Haruka, you can. Hey, thank you for your beautiful and wonderful energy, my friend. Much love. Thank you all. Really appreciate all the love that everyone's been giving. Thank you for dropping the hearts and sharing this, you know. Tag someone in this video that you feel could gain value from this message and that you feel needs to hear this, drop, uh, drop a name of somebody below that you feel could gain use from this, you know, on the replay if you're watching this as if it's already been recorded. Definitely hit the bell notification, that little icon there, ding the bell if you want to be notified whenever we do these live sessions. And always be sure to check out the Open Palm podcast. It's available streaming on all platforms. It is up there in the bio for you, for your listening pleasure, your daily inspiration, my friend. Be well, be blessed. Enjoy this day. Enjoy this life. <sighs> Enjoy this breath, my friend. And I trust that you receive the nugget of wisdom today. Take care. And we will catch you again very, very soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs>